Good evening. I'd like to welcome everyone to the Town of Lexington Council meeting this evening. This meeting is being held at Town Hall Monday evening, November 4th, 2019. This meeting is being broadcast live and will be replayed several times over the next week on the Town's Cable Information Channel 1301 and will also be available for viewing on the Town's website. I'm Steve McDougall, the Mayor of the Town of Lexington. At this time, I'd like to introduce to you my fellow council members. To my left is Mayor Pro Tem Hazel Livingston. Good evening. To her left is Council Member Todd Carnes. Good evening. To his left is Council Member Steve Baker. Good evening. To my right is Council Member Kathy Manis. Good evening. To her right is Council Member Ron Williams. Good evening. To his right is Council Member Todd Lyle. Good evening. At this time, I would like to welcome Pastor Nathan Gregg from Zion Lutheran Church. If you would, please come forward, offer invocation for tonight's meeting. Welcome, and thank you for being with us. Thank you, Mayor McDougall. Yesterday, many Christian churches commemorated the festival of all saints, where we remembered and gave thanks for those we know who have died here in the last year. And so tonight, as part of our invocation, I want to invite us to share a moment of silence as Man, Pastor Greg, thank you very much for being with us, and thank you for what you do in our community. Thank you. Big Joe, at this time, if you would, send your son up here. We'd like to have him lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance tonight. If you would, please come forward to the microphone. Thank you, gentlemen. Those are Boy Scouts from Boy Scout Troop 507 here at Lexington United Methodist Church. I think I met you all over there not too long ago. We had a nice talk with you guys. Thank you all for being with us tonight. At this time, I will call the meeting to order and report on our executive session for this evening. This evening, we had three legal issues. One was advice regarding appointments to nonprofit foundations. We also had an update and advice on regarding litigation, and we had advice regarding agenda items. We had two contractual issues. They were two downtown economic development issues, and we had one personnel item. It was an update regarding personnel information. No vote was taken at tonight's executive session. Is there a motion to ratify the mayor's executive session report? So moved. Mr. Baker makes a motion. Ms. Main is seconds the motion. All those in favor, please raise your right hand. That is unanimous. 
Dealing with the agenda this evening, are there any deletions off of the agenda for tonight? Anyone have anything they'd like to pull off the agenda? Hearing none, we'll move right into approval of minutes, copies of the minutes from the council work session on September 16 and council meeting October 7, 2019 were provided to you in your packets. Are there any omissions, additions, or corrections to council work session September 16 and regular council meeting October 7, 2019? Hearing none, I will entertain a motion to approve those minutes. Ms. Manus makes a motion. Do I have a second? Second. Councilmember Lyle seconds the motion. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor, please raise your right hand. Those minutes are approved. At this time, we will move right into presentations. Our first presentation this evening will be a proclamation read by Councilmember Kathy Manus, a proclamation commending Gina Shevchek. Councilmember Manus. Video Absolutely, you? please. My grandma died of breast cancer one year, so I decided that I should give all the money that I make to kids with cancer. So tell us about some of the people you've given money to. Well, I've given um, money to Miss Tony. She has cancer right now. Then I've also given money to Children's Chance. And what about on the boat? Leukemia lymphoma society. Society? Mm -hmm. Now, when making your earrings, is there anything special of those GG jewelry earrings you're wearing? They're one of a kind. One of a kind? Mm hmm Just like me. Just like you. And what is um, the saying for Gigi's earrings? Made by hand created from the heart. I'm the operator and head coordinator of Gigi's jury. There's Gigi. Hi, everybody. There's Gigi. We're getting ready to do a function called Gigi's jury. We started in 09, and we're about to do a function on a cruise ship. And there's the star. to read this proclamation for this one-of-a-kind young lady. It's a proclamation of the mayor and council for the town of Lexington, South Carolina, commending Jenna Gigi Shevchak. Whereas Jenna Shevchak is a resident of Lexington, South Carolina, and a senior at Ben Lippitt School, where she was a cheerleader, and whereas she became the first junior founder of the Lexington Medical Center Foundation and was elected to serve in this prestigious Lexington Medical Center Partners Program, and whereas Jenna received the Best of Philanthropy Award as a community champion by the Central Carolina Community Foundation and Columbia Metropolitan Magazine, and whereas she was first runner-up in the Farm Rich Kids Who Give contest and received a lifetime membership with the Lexington Chamber of Commerce as a tribute to her giving back to the community. And whereas Jenna started Gigi's Jewelry in 2009 and has donated $10,000 to various families, charities, and hospitals. And she received the first ever Community Spirit Award from Children's Chance for her donations from Gigi's Jewelry to support the fight against pediatric cancer. Now, therefore, be it proclaimed by the mayor and the council for the town of Lexington that Gigi Shevchak is hereby recognized and commended for her many achievements and has expressed best wishes in all her efforts as a representative of Ben Lippin School in Lexington, South Carolina, dated this fourth day in November 2019. And there's a few of us up here who have watched you grow up, young lady, 
And we are very, very proud of what you have done and what you're going to do in the future. So if you'll meet me down here, I'll be glad to hand you this. Jenna, the microphone is yours if you'd like to share something with us. We'd love to hear from you. Very good. Congratulations. Uh, Don, I know y'all are real proud. I know you're proud too, huh? <laughs> Thank y'all for being with us. At this time, I will move into a vision plan update, the vision plan update for November 2019. The Ice House Amphitheater recently celebrated its third anniversary since 2016. We've held over 150 events there with 94,000 attendees. This past year, we held the most events yet at the Ice House Amphitheater with 55, uh, with a total of 36,000 people attending this past year. The amphitheater continues to be a downtown staple for the town of Lexington and is a key component to our revitalization efforts on Main Street. The next event will be Movies in the Park at the Amphitheater. You can come watch Toy Story 2 this Friday November 8th at 6 p.m. And then the next Movies in the Park will be Aladdin, and it will play Friday, November 22nd at 6 p.m. On Saturday, November 23rd, we are teaming up with Mission Lexington to hold a Pack the Pantry event at the amphitheater. Come out and enjoy music and bring canned goods items that will help Lexington families in need. Moving on, last week we held a ribbon cutting ceremony for the town's new maintenance operation facility on Bruner Road. The new facility is composed of three buildings and its headquarters for the town's utilities department. The main office building has a training room which allows adequate space for all staff to meet and train together. There is also two storage buildings which allow for all equipment to be in, out of the rain and daily sunlight, uh, and is also is home to several of our department's vehicles and so that they can be securely stored. Ultimately, the new headquarters allows the utilities department to have parts and equipment on hand so they can resolve problems more quickly. Each month I announce some of the events going on in and around Lexington. All these events are a result of the town's vision plan, which was reviewed and renewed and updated in 2017 and again by this council this past summer. You can read the entire vision plan on the town's webpage. This council continues to look for ways every day to improve and preserve our community. We are always open to your ideas. So we invite you to please let us know if you think of something that will improve the quality of life for all citizens in the town of Lexington. That is the vision plan goal update for November 2019. At this time, I'll have a traffic update from Mayor Pro Tem. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Work will soon begin on a deceleration lane associated with the New Hampton Inn near Frank's Car Wash located on Sunset Boulevard, US 378. Please expect periodic lane shifts in this area. Sidewalk repair work is expected in the coming weeks at the entrance to Hobby Lobby on 378. There could be night or weekend lane closures associated with this work. More information will be provided on social media as it becomes available. The next traffic committee meeting will be held on Wednesday, November the 13th at 8 a.m. in the third floor conference room of Town Hall. If you're aware of any traffic signal issue, unsafe roadway situation, or a pothole that needs repair, please call 358-7273 and let us know. 
Very good. Thank you, Mayor Pro Tem. At this time, we will move into public hearings. Speakers are limited to five minutes. Our first public hearing for this evening is final reading of an ordinance annexing Lexington County Tax Map Number 4300-04-183, located at the 500 block of Old Cherokee Road. Anyone here wish to speak to that? Hearing none, item number two, final reading of an ordinance annexing Lexington County Tax Map Number 5311-01-131, located at 324 Aza Rose Lane. Anyone here wish to speak to that? Hearing none, finally, item number three, final reading of an ordinance for lease of parking spaces on town property. Anyone here wish to speak to that? Hearing none, that concludes our public hearings for this evening. At this time, we will move right into old business. Our first item of old business is from Council Member Kathy Manus. Final reading of an ordinance annexing Lexington County Tax Map number 4300-04-183, located in the 500 block of Old Cherokee Road. Council Member Manus. Thank you, Mr. Mayor and Council. ANT Custom Builder, Builders and Remodeling LLC owns 1.43 acres located at the 500 block of Old Cherokee Road and has petitioned to annex the property. The property is undeveloped. Properties in town near this one are zoned protected residential two and limited commercial. Old Cherokee Road, Road is classified as a collector road. The Planning Commission reviewed this annexation during their September meeting and recommended limited commercial zoning for the property and collector road classification for Old Cherokee Road. I make a motion for final reading approval. Ms. Manus makes a motion. Do I have a second? Second. Councilmember Williams seconds the motion. Any further discussion? Yes, sir, Mr. Mayor. Yes, sir, Mr. Carnes. <clears throat> if I may, I guess uh, this would be for Mr. Hanson. Just looking at this, uh, does this property, is it contiguous or adjacent to limited commercial? It looks like it's surrounded by residential. I don't know why you sit in the back of the room. You know, this is <laughs> it's you run, but you can't hide. <laughs> But just looking at the map, on either side of it is residential, correct? So is that, um, is that normal? Um, So it's, it's contiguous to town across the roadway with what's across the road. So they're kind of first ones in. And just to remind me, when uh, this is an annexation and we bring it in in a specific zoning, so is there, when is public notice made of that, like at that location? Or at the location? Yes, sir. We don't even post up a sign. It's when we rezone, when we post up a sign, correct? All right. Was there any uh, was there any discussion of this at Planning Commission? And was there any public comment there, or was it just amongst Planning Commission? Thank you. Mr. Hanson? Yes, sir. Mr. Baker. If I'm reading this correctly, this was an agenda item for the Planning Commission, correct? So, I mean, they reviewed it. If there was an agenda item, I mean, there was opportunity for the public to speak on it, correct? Thank you. Thank you. Very good. Anyone else? Thank you, Mr. Hanson. 
Any further discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor, please raise your right hand. It is unanimous. Our next item of old business is from Council Member Todd Carnes. Final reading of an ordinance annexing Lexington County Tax Map number 5311-01-131, located at 324 Azer Rose Lane. Council Member Carnes. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Mr. and Mrs. Tran own a parcel located at 324 Asa Rose Lane and have petitioned to annex the property. A single family home is located on the site. Properties in town near this winter zone protected residential two. Asa Rose Lane is currently not classified and River Falls Lane is classified as a RL4 road. The Planning Commission reviewed this annexation during the October meeting and recommended protected residential two zoning for the property and RL4 road classification for the adjacent roads. Uh, Mr. Mayor, I make a, uh, a motion for final reading approval. Mr. Carnes makes a motion. Is there a second? Second. Mr. Williams seconds the motion. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor, please raise your right hand. That is unanimous. Our next item of old business is from Council Member Ron Williams, final reading of an ordinance for <laughs> lease of parking spaces on town property. Council Member Williams. Town Council is asked to grant authority to Town Administrator Britt Poole to enter into a lease with the, with the proposed Main Street Hotel for parking spaces on town-owned property near the hotel. Pursuant to the South Carolina Freedom of Information Act, the details will be released once a contract is signed. I'll make a... Uh, Motion for final approval for Mr. Pohl to enter the lease agreement um, and would ask that the, the uh, contract be attached to the minutes online once it is published. Very good. Mr. Williams makes a motion. Is there a second? Second. Mr. Baker seconds that motion. Any further discussion? Hearing none, there's a motion on the floor. Is there, am I getting some out? Yes, thank you. We have a motion and a second. All those in favor, please raise your right hand. That is unanimous. At this time, we will move into new business. Our first item of new business is from Council Member Steve Baker. First reading to adopt the Town of Lexington Development Impact Fee Study, Housing Affordability Study, Capital Improvements Plan, and Development Impact Fee Ordinance. Mr. Baker. Thank you, Mr. Mayor and Council. In March, Town Council adopted a resolution directing the Planning Commission to begin preparing the documents needed to implement a development impact fee. During the October meeting, the Planning Commission recommended approval of the four items required by state law to implement an impact fee. These items are the, the development impact fee study, a housing affordability study, a capital improvements plan, and a development impact fee ordinance. I make a motion for first reading approval to adopt the Town of Lexington Development Impact Fee Study, Housing Affordability Study, Capital Improvements Plan, and Development Impact Fee Ordinance, and also in agreement with the spirit of cooperation that Pastor Greg prayed for this evening, uh, direct staff to set up a meeting with all of the stakeholders involved so that we can hash out any differences there may be and um, just have a meeting of the minds. Very good. Mr. Baker makes a motion. Is there a second? Second. Mr. Carnes seconds that motion. Any further discussion? Mr. Mayor. Yes, sir. Mr. Williams. I'd like to thank the Planning Commission. Some of the members are here for spending their time working on this. I know they, there was a lot of time put in and thought put in, into it by those guys and ladies, and I appreciate y'all's efforts and, and work on this. Very good. Anyone else? All those in favor, please raise your right hand. That is unanimous. Our next item of new business is from Council Member Todd Lyle, the Clark House Reimbursement Resolution. Council Member Lyle. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. The Clark House Restoration and Related Parking Improvements Project is expected to be ready for bid in late 2019. In order to have maximum flexibility in financing initial construction costs, IRS regulations allow bond issuers to adopt a reimbursement resolution in order to recoup costs for capital expenditures 
incurred prior to the issuance of bonds or bond anticipation notes, BANs. Accordingly, the town should have a resolution in place for the project. The town's bond council will draft the appropriate resolution as a first step in the overall financing plans for the project. So Mr. Mayor, I'd make a motion for approval of the reimbursement resolution for the Clark House restoration and related parking improvements project. Council Member Lyle makes a motion. Is there a second? I'll second it. Ms. Maynard seconds the motion. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor, please raise your right hand. That is unanimous. At this time, we will move into announcements. We'll hear announcements from Council Member Todd Carnes for this evening. <clears throat> Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I uh, want to start off and uh, wish a happy birthday to the guy with uh, the best name on council, Mr. Todd Lyle, who uh, celebrated his birthday this past Saturday. And uh, he's also uh, a veteran, attended our Veterans Day Parade with us on Sunday. So happy birthday, old man. Thank you for your service. Uh, as the mayor mentioned, we have multiple upcoming events at uh, Ice House Amphitheater. Hope everyone... We'll continue to come out and uh, enjoy the multiple events there. We have a long list of meetings coming up here at the town because we're very busy, have a lot going on. Uh, these are available on our website, but just to buzz through, our bo Board of Zoning will be meeting here in Council Chambers on Thursday at 5.30. Uh, our Board of Appearance will meet on the 12th at 9. The Traffic Committee will meet here on the 13th at 8 a.m. in the third floor conference room. Uh, and Virginia Hilton Park Committee, uh, which is a committee, that's your volunteer committee, correct? Ms. Livingston. Yes. Uh, we'll meet here uh, on Thursday at 6 in the conference room C. Uh, let's see, there's two movies in the park, Toy Story on the 8th and Aladdin on the 22nd. Both movies start at 6, and Town Hall will be closed on Monday the 11th. For Veterans Day, uh, we encourage you guys to thank the veterans uh, for their service in our community. Had a great turnout for our parade. We appreciate everybody who cooperated and participated in that. Um, let's see, council will meet again on November 18th at 6 p.m. for council's November work session in the Eli Mack room. Also want to note that uh, multiple of our members will be traveling to the National League of Cities City Summit here in just a few weeks, and it's a, uh, a national conference where our very own Council Member Manus will end her second term as second vice president, and we're looking forward to seeing her elected as first vice president of the National League of Cities. Uh, and so that will be upcoming, hopefully something we'll celebrate here in about a month. Finally, Town Hall will also be closed on November 28th and 29th in observance of Thanksgiving. And we uh, want to continue to pray and uplift the Baker family uh, with uh, uh, Steve's wife, Julie, and her continued uh, health and getting better. And then as we finish here, looking forward to Thanksgiving, I just want to say we do live in one of the greatest towns in the greatest nation in the world. And so we all spend a lot of our time problem solving in our day jobs here on council and our committees, uh, life's full of problem solving. And in the midst of a lot of problem solving, it's, uh, it's easy to forget about Thanksgiving. So I encourage everybody to uh, pause the problem solving and be thankful for the things that are right. It's always things that are wrong. Uh, but I, for one, am very thankful for our town, our nation, and the good things that God has provided. Mr. Mayor. Thank you, Mr. Carnes. Anyone else have anything they'd like to add? Um, I, I think we need to keep um, thinking about our clerk, Becky, who had back surgery on Friday, and she is at home recuperating. We look forward to getting her back, but Karen's doing a fine job. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Yes, Ms. Maintenance. Anyone else? Very good. Any questions from the news media tonight? Any public comments regarding tonight's agenda? Anyone have anything they'd like to add? We didn't get to hear from anybody at the Boy Scout Troop 507, so if the leader wants to come back up and talk about the Boy Scout Troop a little bit, we'd love to hear about what y'all are doing. Come on, don't be shy. Come on up. 
You got a great group of young men there. We're proud of them. Yes, sir. Good. Thank you for being here. Sir, would you like to come forward and say anything? I appreciate y'all being here tonight. You're representing a different pack, I believe. Absolutely. We're glad you, you came tonight. Thank you for coming. Very good. Anyone else have anything they'd like to share? Very good. That concludes our business for this evening. Thank you for watching the town council meeting for the town of Lexington. This meeting was held at Town Hall on Monday evening, November 4th, 2019. A recording of this meeting will be aired on the town's information cable channel, 1301 several times during this week and a video will be available on the town's website at lexsc.com without objection we are adjourned